Hey guys, it's May May. I'm here. <laughs> what a morning. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Okay. Do you hear me? <laughs> Let me know if you're with me. What a morning. Y'all don't even know for this morning. So I've learned something again. <laughs> I set this up incorrectly, so I came in here at like 10 minutes till, and I'm like, oh, it's time to get started, blah, 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 and then, no, I did it wrong. <laughs> so, now we're here, oh, good, everybody can hear us. Uh, Vinny may be in in a few minutes, he's doing a little bit of uh, work out front, and he may be here in a few minutes, but it may be us for a little bit, and that's okay. Today's video is me putting pictures into my album so this one is mine the one right here on top this is my album okay we're gonna put some pictures in talk about how we do that and stuff like that but i got with brenda this morning and i asked her if she had one that was already filled up because i thought it might be cool if we look through one that was already filled so you could see how she does it everybody does them a little different um and so i thought this would be cool if we could see what she does before i do mine and i also wanted to show you kind of the differences in the two so, um, with Brenda's album, let me make sure, because this is a little delayed. I want to make sure you're seeing me. Yeah. Um, with Brenda's album, she uses glossy photos. Not always. She uses whatever she wants, but in this one, she used glossy. And so, I decided, since I'm doing matte, I thought you'd enjoy this. Can you see how similar our albums look? Like, I took, this was her sample for her class that I took, and this was what mine came out in the class. So, Hers was this one. This is what we looked at to sign up to take the class. This was the one she made to show us this is what we'll be doing. And then mine turned out like this. Pretty similar, but not exact. Like, that's not what her classes are about. So, this is a real completed Brenda album. You see all the messy ribbons and all. She loves these wired and not wired and any kind of ribbons on her little um, rings here. You can see how the front looks. And now we're going to open up and you're going to see Brenda's gorgeous family and her home. This is what she does. So, this is a waterfall page. Okay, very much like one of mine. Let me show you. So this is my waterfall page. Because what, what I did, what she did in this class was we did every page together. So mine may look differently, but we did every page together. So mine is also a waterfall page. We're going to put photos in there in a second. But this is how Brenda did hers. So see, she's used her glossy photos. And I want to show you something. Brenda is the queen of don't stress. This is why she and I get along, because we don't stress about stuff, okay? She glues her picture down, and that's it. There's no fanciness, no nothing here, okay? Here's her Christmas tree, which, by the way, her Christmas tree is hilarious. Her family have all kinds of traditions and things that they've done over the years, and she adds things that have something to do with her grandkids and her children. So there's actually rubber snakes in her tree, and there's a reason. So I think it's funny. You'd have to be up close to see it. But this is like her uh, side, one of her side tables. So I love that she adds decorations because I'm going to add some to mine too. Now, this is a jot, okay? This is not journaling. It's jotting. So she calls these jot journals because... She does like everybody that is coming arrive December 25th um, at our annual time, 3 p.m. And then here's everybody that was there. So she doesn't like journal, but this is so cool. And let me tell you why. When I was looking through her album, I can not know enough about her holiday to be able to enjoy what I'm reading. But yet she's not having to write a book. Welcome. Are you good? You're fine. I had no, no you have no idea. I had taken pull. Oh, you have no idea. Come in, have a seat. Relax. Chill out. <laughs> Say hello to the folks. Hello, everybody. Old Vinny finally made it. I told him we've had a morning. And then do you know what I did? I set the live stream up wrong, so I had to redo it and get everybody over here. It was awful. We did it. Anyway, about Brenda's album, what I love is that she jots. And I'm not a journaler either, and that's what I love. So look right here. Here's something else she does. She took a glossy photo, okay, and glued it front and back together, <laughs> poked a hole in it, and put it in, and it becomes a page, okay? Love that, right? Look at this one. This is one of her little flaps. On the back of this flap, there's a photo. He's so cute, look at that. And then, she still has places to put more photos if she wants to add, and journaling. That's what this is for, photo journaling. Then, look at here, this is a pocket. Here's a photo stuck in there. Look at Brenda, she's so pretty. And then, look, her family. And then this one has the menu on it. They had fried turkey and everything. What is that? Everyone, oh, fried turkey's everyone's fave. That was the menu. 
and she put that on there and she still has places she can write things she doesn't toss anything away it all goes in her little book and then right here more pockets and look at this this is her journaling so look she was going to put the best dish on there she wrote on this one she's using a sharpie so you can see it okay look at this one the tackiest wrap present award and then this is another photo that she's glued front to back so no matter how you pick it up you're looking at the photo and then it goes into this pocket so i mean if this is not showing you how to fill up an album i don't know what is you know yeah i love how she does this there is no stress in a brenda album look at her Brenda will take as many serious photos as you want to take, but you have to do the silly stuff too. You gotta have some silly ones. Which is like who? We well, are the same just people. Like you. you are the same person. We are the same people. She just does her way, her way, and I do mine, my way. Look at this one. Them making pretzels together, and um, that's stuck to the back of one of the little cards. Look at this. This comes out the top, and look, 2016. Little Lincoln will be here next Christmas. Brax and Bryson played Santa. Look at this. How cute is this? It's adorable. So then this sticks in here. I can flip the page. She may not, I don't know. She doesn't care if I tell you all this stuff. She wouldn't have let me show you if she cared. Look at this. So cute. And if you're a photography buff, these are perfect for that. Perfect. I mean, she's got stuff stuck everywhere you everywhere. can imagine. And when the kids come home, they'll look and go, oh, I remember this last year. I remember that hat. I remember this hat. You know what I'm saying? And you it's just that, easy. That I, like, I actually had that hat. With a little animal print. I did. I had it. Know. Look. Photos on the back. Um, a jot. This was actually from where she was showing that that's what this is for. It's for jotting because this was her sample. Funniest gift. See, I like that. She like picks titles to put on her little journal jots. And then more here. You can put a photo back here or journal. Then look at this. More photos. I love this picture. They're adorable in their pajamas. Mm -hmm. And then more pictures. More pictures. Look at this. More pictures. I think one is glued down. No, it's not. I just didn't want to mess it up. There we go. Look. And she puts them front to back. I love that. She's got plenty of places to write what the pictures were, so she puts them front to back. That baby, they're expecting a baby. And look, so cute. Front to back, front to back, adorable. Wait, this one's not front to back. It is stuck together. There we go. Look at that. It might have, should have been a front to back and just came undone. It something. could have been. I don't know. Stick that in here. And then the back of her album. And she's like me. I don't put pictures or anything on the back of the album. I just decorate it up. And Brenda likes to tear her cardboard to show. I do too. It looked really cute. I did it in mine. So, before I go into start doing mine, did you see anything that made you have questions about this? Anybody have any questions? The thing about this album is it's very freeing, and here's why. I don't care what your opinion is of it. There's no way to do it wrong or right. Like, this is one of those things where if you came in and said, I know I didn't do this right, how? There's no rule. Like, there's literally... You, there's no rhyme or reason. There's nothing. Just go. It, it is. If you want to hang something off the side, and there's, I mean, and that's the way these are done. There are literally no rules. So you cannot, listen to me. This is so important that you hear this. You cannot mess this album up. It is just your creativity. That's it. That's it. No, the photos are not laminated. The photos are just glossy photos. That's what she's used. Now, I'm going to put some photos in this one. This is the one I made at the um, event that we had here at the shop. And it was a lot of fun. We had 10 people. We all sat around. And I'm going to tell you something. I struggled because I, like I like my trimmer and stuff. She don't use a trimmer. We've talked about all of that in all of the previous uh, videos. So, yeah, her photos are very glossy. I'm not a glossy photo fan. Some people are. I also want to talk to you about how I achieved my photos because some people were asking me yesterday about this. So I'm going to show you. I've got all these little tiny photos and then I've got some that are bigger over here. And I want to show you what I did. Uh, let me open my phone real quick because that's where it's at. But I don't want to show you all this over my phone. Right, what size is that album? This album is... Hold on. It's about nine and three-fourths by about five. And if you ask Brenda, that's how she says it. There's no act there's no accurate. It's just about. All right, I'm gonna show you what I use and see if if you have an iOS device, and even if you don't have an iOS an iOS device, you probably have um, some sort of like uh, what's the other thing? Tablet. You probably have some sort of tablet or something like that. So this application is called Print to Size. I should probably show it to you right 
here. It's called Print to Size. This application cost me $1.99. Okay, I'm going to click on that application. When I do, it brings up a base, a piece of paper. All right, let me move that where you can see it. It's a piece of paper. I can go to this little wheel and I can change the size of my paper. Let's say I'm going to use something very, look how many specific things I can put in. Say I'm using just a photo printer. See these? I can choose all the photo printer size. I can tell it to use the selfie. Y'all know the selfie machine. Um, there's all kinds of different things I can tell it. What I told it was U.S. letter. Okay. Then, are y'all able to see it? Everybody seeing it? In my screen I am, so I want to make sure they are. Then you can tell it what orientation. I have mine on landscape right now, but I'm going to put it on portrait, okay, because I want to show you. Then I can tell it if I want to do this in centimeters, millimeters, or inches. So if you're a person that uses something different than inches, you can do that. Mine's inches. Then I'm going to go clear the page and start fresh, all right? Now I click this little add button at the bottom, and I can go into my camera roll where there's all kinds of pictures. I'm going to go up here so that I know that there's some safe ones to put on. All right. And then I'm going to pick this one do you and have look. Unsafe ones? Well, I mean, there's some photos I'm not supposed to share, you know. All right, so see this? I can resize this photo. Now, I will tell you, it's going to stick with the orientation of the photo because that's how it is. So you might get it landscape or portrait, like this one right here. I can't, I can't stretch it. I can do it like this and adjust it, but I can't really stretch the boys out because it's locked into place. You see what I'm saying? Then I can crop which I just did and I didn't mean to, but this little button right here crops. Do you see that? I can stretch it out, bring it over. Like if I just want the boys in the picture, do you see that? This one tells me that this is 6.5 by 8.4 inches. Well, I don't want it that big. So I can just shrink it down. And this is telling me the size that I'm getting it. And remember, I'm on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, right? It's really cool. Yeah, they saw Boom Boom in there. <laughs> I knew somebody would see her in there. Um, but this is telling me the size. So now that I've cropped it where I want it, look, I can make it as the whole size of a, um, that's a seven by nine photo, or I can shrink it down. And what I do is I shrink it down and here, let me add a photo. I'm gonna click add. I don't want to like show anything I shouldn't. Y'all me to add a boom, boom photo? Won't hurt my feelings. So this <laughs> is boom, boom in her glory in the driveway, which you really can't see. But um, I can size it to any size I want to. See that? Then if I don't want to use that photo, which I don't, I can tap it and delete it. I could also duplicate it if I want to make multiples, whatever. This app's awesome. It is awesome. It's you mind awesome. if I give a shout out real quick? No, go ahead. I want to give a shout out to Michelle Williams' husband, Kevin, who has to watch you and me all the time and listen to us. And he always, always wants to know, is Vinny there? So, hey, Kevin, I'm here today. He is here today. I'll tell you the name of the app again. It's called Print to Size. Probably not going to be able to focus in on that because I took autofocus off. Anyway, it's this little guy right here, print to size. Type, there it is, print to size. It was $1.99. Now, let me say this. There are probably 1.37 million different apps like that. Honestly, that's just the one I found. And here's how I choose an app so you guys can know this. I look at the customer ratings and I read what they say because I learn that if I open up the app and read the reviews and somebody says, this didn't work for my, or let me say this, I couldn't measure photos in inches in this app. Then I know that's that's not the app for me, okay? So that's the deal. Also remember, I noticed somebody said any good free ones. There may be. $1.99 to be able to do that. I got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it has great value. I'm going to be able to use that forever for these albums that I make, even for photos in my home on my walls. I can do all of that if I want to print them myself. So I don't think $1.99 is a bad investment at all for something that you'll own like that. And from what I can tell, based on the reviews, there, are, there aren't any um, in app purchases, which is the thing I pay attention to. I want to tell you all that. More than a free app, I pay attention to are there in app purchases because that frustrates me because you'll start building something and get it all ready to go. And then before you can print it, you got to pay $2.99 or something. That's more frustrating to me than just telling me up front, hey, this is $1.99. Is it anyway. $1.99 a month? No. Or one time? One time. $1 it's an app. Unless you have to sign up and subscribe, then you pay it one time. So. Um, what does it say? Maybe we could get a group and go and have a crop at May Mays. Do it, y'all. Come on. Do it. We love that. We have a great space for you guys to come do that. All right, so let's do this. I printed on matte finish photo paper. I like matte finish. Some people don't, okay? 
I've never been a glossy finish girl. Even when I took photography in high school and would develop photos, I would use matte finish paper because I didn't like the glossy finish, but some people do, okay? So, I'm using matte finish paper. I purchased it from Amazon. If y'all want to see the package, I'll even get somebody to bring me. Well, no, I can't. It's not a normal day. Nobody's up there. Yeah, nobody's here today. Um, but it's just Amazon matte finish poto, poto fader. It's photo better. That's awesome. Um, and it's good I, stuff. I think I paid ten dollars for like fifty sheets or more. It's it's real affordable. Okay. Josh looks so like a baby I know, without I his know. beard. But let me be real super honest with you. You can get this same look on cardstock. So if you just have cardstock, don't let that hold you back. Just print them on cardstock. Seriously, I've done that a bazillion times. Doesn't it just use a little more ink? No, it's no, no, no. I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people are of that opinion. Here's what uses more ink. I've done my research because of the Cricut and the print then cut feature. What uses more ink is how you set your printer, okay? Your printer is what feeds the ink. So it don't matter what kind of paper it if is. If you tell it photo best quality, it's the same amount of ink on cardstock as it would be on photo paper. The See, paper, no the paper does not determine how much ink is released. The machine determines it. You determine it. These, I actually printed on good quality. I didn't do them on best. My ink's getting low because I printed a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. So I did them on good quality and they worked just fine. So just remember that because back when we first started doing the print, the what's it called? Print then cut on Cricut. People were saying, oh, they use too much um, ink. Well, it's your settings in your printer. You can change that. And by the way, let me see if I can do that on this app to show you guys. I'm trying to keep it out of the screen because I don't, okay, here we go. So on this app, and, and I saw that somebody said it's not on Android. Y'all, It's there's got to be something similar. Got to be. I'm going to click the printer, and here's what happens. It, t it lets me choose my printer. So see that there. Okay, while you're on printer, can I interrupt? Mm -hmm. Some people say they don't have printers, so can they design it and print it like at a, well, it's like Walmart has the machines where you can walk up and print stuff. I, I mean, have, I would think it would work like that. I would totally think you can. What I would do is look on their websites, their photo websites, and just research and see if you can do it. I've done stuff like that before. Look at this. So here's my printer right here, the mode. I can click mode, and I can tell her I want it to be a color photo or color general. And I printed these on color general, not photo, because I didn't want to waste any more ink. Look how beautiful that is. Well, let me get it where you can see it. Okay. You also can do it in grayscale photo or grayscale general. And it prints to your home printer, whichever one you have chosen, okay? Mine's a wireless printer, so that's why it works from my phone. I hope that's giving you some good tips there. I love, love, love being able to print from my phone. So look, then we just come over here and decide where we want them. Now, I'm a little different than Brenda, and this is where it'll take me a little bit of time on these things. But, and I also need a tool out of my other craft room that I do have to have that I can send somebody for. Let me text somebody. Let me get Thomas to come here. He won't be able to know. Let me get Josh. Josh will know. I should have brought the walkie-talkies in. I know I just talked to Josh three minutes ago on text. Are y'all like me? Do y'all scroll through a thousand times to try to find anything? The last thing I said to Josh was, come here, please. <laughs> Did it work then? Uh-uh, it didn't, so we'll see what happens if I do it now. Is that How old is that dot mine do sitting over there? Yeah, I did. It's mine today. You thirsty? You've been running. I'm kind of thirsty. It's not cold. I see that. Oh, that's true. What printer do I use? Y'all ready for this? My printer is so old. Oh my gosh. I can tell you the actual name of it. It's an Office Jet 8600. <laughs> Type it in because it is, it's an HP Office Jet 8600 center. It's copy, print, fax, blah, blah, blah. I need a favor because I forgot to bring them in here. In my old craft room where I film right here on this wall of smart wall. At the top are my We Are Memory Keepers layer guides, you know, the little layer thingies. I need both of those, please. Thank you, dear. Okay, so, because I do want to use those. The thing I like to do that Brenda didn't do in hers is I like to map my pictures because I think they pop better. So I'm going to just use, and I, this is the thing, I like to use a white or a cream or a yellow or something like that that'll pop. So, um, where did I put my white paper? I put it in here somewhere. Hand me some of that right there. See that little white? Yes. So I'm just gonna use some, just some white paper that I have. And let me tell you something. These are card bases that I cut incorrectly. <laughs> but I'm not gonna waste them. It's just paper. It's just paper. It's just I cut it incorrectly for what I was doing. So I put it into my little thingy over there. And I'm gonna mat these because look at the difference. If you mat them, they really pop. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to run through and mat some pictures real quick and show you how I'm going to do it. Thank you very much. I knew you were the guy for the job. You'd know what I needed. So these are my layer guides. Is that what they're called? Yes, layer guides. And I want to use the one um, the one eighth inch. Oh, we got a super chat from Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. You're going to make your sound. <sighs> do it in the mic. <sighs> Yay! <sighs> you are better Yay! than our sound effects machine. All right, I'm going to glue Can we this do the down. Wave even though they can't see it. Yes, do it. How do they know? We'll We're just the honest people. That's how. It's the only way they'll know. I am using Art Glitter Glue. It is acid free, friendly, photo safe. What is it? And look what I did. It's the best glue in the whole wide world. <laughs> I did this yesterday live. Y'all saw me do it. <laughs> mm, didn't put the pen. I didn't. Y'all saw me do it. And I went, oh, thank you for reminding me. So let me clean that out and just clean it with my finger. Sorry, y'all. I did it to myself, though. And I've put that on too tight, I can already tell. I'm just gonna roll with it. I don't have time for it. Y'all the same way? I'm rolling with it. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down. And then I'm gonna cut my trim and I'm gonna try to like save myself a headache there on that corner and see if I want to trim that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do several because I wanna show you how it goes. So da 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 da. This is one I have nothing to say. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Come on, Ben, sing or something. No. Do something. Make some noise, Ben. Any questions? Maybe that'll fill time. Comments? Suggestions? Well, people just talking about their printers and your printer and how it works and, you know. My printer is old as the hills. And actually, I'm going to put this in. Lisa, she has a question about the metal tip for the art glitter glue. Alrighty then. So ask away, Lee. All right. I'm gonna use my layer guides. I'm gonna line this up on the 1 8 inch side. I'm using my pen blade. And I'm gonna run this down. And I like to do more passes with light pressure instead of one big heavy pass. I feel like it gives me a less chance of wiggling. <laughs> Anybody who has a problem with wiggling when they're doing this, they'll know what I'm talking about. If you'll line this up, okay, let it catch on the side, and then do more passes with less pressure. Not less pressure each time. Just don't try to cut it through in one cut you get less chance of moving your paper because you're not pulling on it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these cut apart one way. Now I know y'all gonna wanna know about these layer guides. Are they in stock? Are they on back order? What's the deal? Do we know? I don't even know. But there's probably gonna be questions and I wasn't prepped for that. I wasn't prepped for it. I should have looked. Okay, Lee says, is the fine metal tip made for the four ounce bottle because she cannot get it to stay on? As long as you're, oh, here's what you have to do. When you put it on, you push and twist. That's what creates your threads. So push down on it and twist it. Push and twist when you install it. There's a video on the Product Parade channel where I show you how to do it. So you might want to just go peek at that in case you're having any more trouble. But you have to push and twist and that creates threads and then it's not going to come off. Does it, um... Does the more passes and less pressure make sense to you guys? I want to know that. Make it sure. makes sense to me because then you don't cut your board near as deep. Well, that, but mostly because if I try to cut this in one fell swoop, I'm putting a lot of pull pressure on it, which means I'm probably going to shift and move things around. But or if I just, it. yeah, if I just hold it here and just quick, even passes, I'll eventually get that off and it's nice and clean and I didn't take a chance of wiggling anything. The other thing, please, please, please. Where's my friend Alicia? Alicia hasn't talked to me in a live in a while. Um, she will tell you, don't put your thumb here. See what I no, did? No, because it'll you'll slice That's it. That's right. Put your thumb back here. Keep your fingers clear. That's one thing I like about these. They're big and wide. So I can do this as fast as I want. And it's not getting to my thumb because my thumb is half an inch away. So please pay attention to that. And that's something that you really should, like if you're working with a child in the craft room and, you know, they're helping mommy or grandmommy or whatever, that's something you need to tell them. You need to teach that kind of practicalness because, listen, the only way to learn that's a bad idea is to slice your hand. You don't think about it till you've done it. You went, well, that was dumb. It's not one of those things you're like, oh, I better keep my thumb back. You know what I'm saying? So my friend Lisha did it, and that's what made me be more conscious of it. Isn't that a shame I had to learn from somebody else's mistakes? Hey, will you take that top off and show Lee how to do it? Because mm -hmm. she's saying it's just not, it ain't grabbing for her, apparently. Um, Well, mine already has threads on it. I've already threaded it. I, 
I promise. Go watch my product prey video. Can somebody link it in here for her? Tamitha, have you already done it? Link that video for her. It is perfect for that. What? Uh, what's that one right there? Alan's asking. I can't read it and do the same time. Uh, do you find sometimes you cannot drip to the photo the rule? I think there's probably some typos in there. No, I think what you mean is sometimes it doesn't catch. Yes, sometimes that happens. If it does, just line it up and hold it still. But I some I usually have pretty good luck, especially if you're using real photos. You don't have a problem there. And if you're using cardstock, if you're using a thinner paper, see how that's catching for me? And it's grabbing there. But if you're using a thinner paper, you're really gonna struggle with that. So try to use if you're when you're printing your pictures and you're gonna be doing this, try to use cardstock for that. But I want to show you the difference. And here's the thing about this. This is one of those projects where you take all your pictures and some cardstock and your layer guides and you set up a TV tray with a cutting mat on it, go watch a movie, mat all your photos. You know what I'm saying? Don't do a page at a time. Unless you are going to only do a page at a time, that's fine. But look at the difference. So I'm going to get this photo and put it down. And that's fine and dandy. There's a photo there, right? Not matted, okay? But I'm going to do the same with this photo matted and do you see the difference? I can see the difference. I don't know if they can on camera. But it's it's different because it puts some dimension and it brings it up. You can also put these in with foam if you want to and really pop them up. But I think it matters. Like a dark, um, this will go somewhere else because it won't fit there. But like this photo, it really helps this photo to pop right there. You know what I'm saying? That map makes such a difference to me. So I would do it. I won't do it everywhere. Well, let me show you why. Let's say, let me find one of these darker ones. Let's say some of these have a darker background. Let me just, I, they probably won't because they typically match each other. Let me find a spot then to show you. So let's say I was going to put one on a navy piece of paper. I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't cover this wreath up. But see, I don't necessarily have to have it here because there's nothing competing with the pattern. Does that make sense? Like that, that will show to be the only pattern on the page. But if you're competing with pattern, that's when you want to think about matting. And listen, it's not, it's not something you're desperate to do. Your album will still turn out super cute whether you do that or not. But you guys were asking kind of my way of doing things. And that's kind of my way. And this little guy is going to go here. And I want to journal on this. So I'm going to cut another piece of white to go beside it. And you know what I'm going to do? Um, let me go around the table. I'm going to punch a circle in some of my white. There we go. And I'm going to put this. And this is where you can use, like, dies and punches and all that kind of stuff. Like, wouldn't a cute little snowflake be so cute behind this little white circle where I can write on it? That would be so cute. And I might even write, I might even pop that up and write on it. So I'm going to glue this straight down into the book. Like so. And then I'm going to put that little circle down. So we have a piece of, well, I'm going to write on it first. So get that stuck down. I can move this out of the way so y'all can see what's happening. So there's that. And then I'm going to take a marker. This is my favorite one. It is the Illustrated Faith 0.65 pen tip. It's my favorite. Do you remember when the snow came? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Was it, it was January, right? In December. It was before Christmas, the first time. The first snow? Yep. Was this the first snow? I don't know about that. Now. I don't either. I can't talk and write. I put snow before Christmas, so pretty, and I'm going to put the year. Uh, it could have been the snowstorm when you were here, Tam. I'm not sure if it was that one or I don't a remember, time. but we did have snow twice. So I want to put that up with a piece of foam with Scotty. Here's some Scotty. Molly asked, do the metal tips come separate? She can't seem to find them on our page. Tamitha, could you post a link to the fine metal tip for her? But they're sold out. But they should be here. Next week? I thought they would have been here yesterday, but they didn't make it. They're not here yet, so... Look, snow before Christmas, and that is enough. Like, that's enough on that. 
So then when, people, when we're flipping through it, we're like, oh, I remember the snow before Christmas. Look how pretty it was. And also, notice this is not my house. It's a neighbor's house. Why? Their house is prettier than mine. <laughs> It was across the street, and you were. I thought Babe, you were really taking a look. picture of the tree, though. Well, I did get the tree, but look at this tree in the background. Look how beautiful his house Speaking is. Speaking of that tree, it needs to be Craig murdered. You know what else he got? Reese on his windows. Do we need to go back to Christmas? We need to talk. We need to address this. You want to go back and talk about that? I, I'm good with us. You want to talk about the no wreath on windows 2017 debacle? Do we want to discuss it? This is one of those. Now I'm gonna get a comment. May May, Vinny puts up with so much from you. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't put up with nothing from you, okay? Because you're this, Mr. Perfect. This is where the poor Vinny comes. Poor Vin. Poor Vin. Um, yes, we didn't have wreaths on our windows last year. It was my fault, 100%. I'm just saying, there were no I wreaths on my windows you, last year. It will never happen again as long as I am alive. <laughs> you better bet it won't. Okay, let's do some little tags. These are cute. Let's do these guys. All right. Um, I'm stuck. There we go. Pull these out. Move this over. Can we right. still get those Illustrated Faith pens? Because I don't remember seeing them in a long time. I think so. They're my very favorites. I think you can. All right. I'm going to do some more um, white in here. I'm going to measure. This is what I do. Brenda wouldn't do this. I'm going to do two and three-fourths by three and a quarter white pieces. I'm going to do three of them. So, I mean, Brenda might. She would cut them, but she wouldn't do all this measuring junk. She's not about that measuring life. So I need to go two and three-fourths by three and one-fourth. So let's do, I'm trying to think which way I want to go that way. Let's go this way. Two and three-fourths. One. Is all this making sense? I believe it is. Do you understand it? Like, could you even do it? Well, there's a problem with that. If I say that I could do it, then you'll want me to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to say no, I don't think I could. Do you also guys see that I'm using paper that I damaged or scratched or messed up or whatever? You're not wasting it. Even when you watch us do a video and you think, wow, that's wasteful of that paper. It's not. I promise I don't get rid of it. It just goes into the not today pile. <laughs> I'm not going to use it today, but we c we're going to meet again. <laughs> All right. So how cute will this be? And imagine if you already cut, like if you have those little Instax, um, photos, that'd be cute. I have one of those. I just didn't use it for these pictures. Shut up, that's so cute. <laughs> it almost looks like a Polaroid. That is cute, but I'm going to do something else, too. And I'm going to get myself in trouble a bit. I'm probably going to get myself in trouble. I'm going to ink this edge. And I'm just using old ink on my blending tool. I'm not even worried about because I just want a little bit. Okay, Alan asked, I know the Cricut uh, cutter will change my life, but how often... Uh, do you clean the trimming hole? This one? Depends on the paper you're using. If you're using a real fibrous paper, which I was this week. See, I've been cutting this white and there's none in there. But that colored paper I have is pretty fibrous and I've had to clean it out a good bit. But it just depends on your paper. Um, but it's not a big deal. You'll have a pokey tool. If you are if you love May May's favorite things enough to get a Cricut trimmer, you gotta own a pokey tool. <laughs> so you'll be alright. <laughs> but even just a straight pen will work. All right, I'm going to glue this down here. And how many of you guys own a pokey tool? I want to know. <laughs> I'm sure it's a bunch of you guys. All right, and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to glue this one down to here. So I'm just kind of making the look of a Polaroid. Super cute. I'm putting my pen back in every time because I don't want to fight with it. There we go. And then put this guy on here. And this is a great way to use your stamp set. If you have the stamp set called Oh Snap and Oh Snap Friends, this is a great way for that. Then look, I'm going to use my red pen to journal on this one. This one was the year we waited for Addie. <laughs> Bless you. I have one more. Bless you. Bless you. So this was the year excuse we waited for Addie. Excuse me, excuse me. It's the year they told us. Um, we found out in... What month was it we found out in? Thanksgiving. Well, we found out before that. But they announced no. it for the family at Thanksgiving. We found out the week of Thanksgiving. Because when he came, they came home for Thanksgiving is when they told us. The weekend before Thanksgiving. I don't think you're right about that. Sam, correct me. I don't think you're right about that. Because remember... 
we had to keep the secret for a little while because they wanted to reveal it in a certain way with all the stuff we were doing. Anyway, regardless, because, you know, they got the shirt, the turkey, the blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this was the year, and, or this one. So, that's how I just journaled it, the year we waited for Addie. And you can see that we have, on, um, Sam and Jared have on Mama and Papa Bear, and then these are Uncle Bears, and this is an Aunt Bear. She will be an Aunt Bear, we hope, <laughs> if Josh don't run her off. And back here in the very back are Grammy and Poppy Bear. <laughs> In the very back. Yep, so look yep. how cute that is. That could even be an ornament on a tree if I wanted it to, you know? So now, that would be pretty cool. Yep. Do this. Do we need to buy another tree? An Addy tree? Just for well, Addy? You know, just a family picture tree. I've been shopping a lot for Addy for the house. I know. I need you to back up off that. I learned bit. something, y'all, really cool <laughs> that I didn't know about. See, y'all got to start telling me stuff. I didn't know that Grammys got to buy stuff for the baby for their house. Like, I didn't know I could have my own pack and play. I didn't know I could have my own, like, high chairs. I don't have a high chair yet. I didn't know Grammys could do that. I'm learning stuff. Why didn't you know? Why didn't you think I've never you been a Grammy. That? I didn't think about it. I was like, wait a minute. You mean I can go on Amazon and I can pick out things I want for her right here? And what we've been doing is picking out gender neutral. So no matter whose baby, when, I'll have it. And I'm even like cleaning out a closet under the stairs that's going to have toy boxes. It's going to have all the little things I'm buying for Grammy's house in mm. there. I'm like, what? I never thought about this. I'm nesting. <laughs> I didn't think about it. And Lord nobody even mercy. told me. Arlene says she's got to go make some cornbread. <gasps> Oh, bring me some. I love fresh, hot cornbread. Mm. So nobody warned me that I was going to get to get do all that. My son's laughing at me. He thinks it's hilarious because I'm sending him pictures. Is this one good? Because I don't know what's good. I don't know that. I have to get their advice on that. But anyway, let's find another picture to put in. Look, this is a pillow Gareth gave me, and I love it so much. So I, I printed it so I could put it in. Let's do another. Um, this is Sam's first Christmas. You want to do Sam's, Sam's first Christmas? Sure. This one's Sam's first Christmas. We can put that one there. Um, and I love this picture. <laughs> this picture, Thomas's half sister. Her name is uh, is well. Her name is Isabella. We call her Isabe, or they call her all different names. She drew this for me. This is Santa Claus with his hat. This is his hat here, and the fuzz. And then my real name, for those of you who don't know, is Amy, but no one calls me Amy. She doesn't call me May May. I'm not her aunt, like, you know, like that. But she wrote A-M-E for my name. I, look, those are my favorite things. So let's put down Sam's first Christmas. Um, what's this? This is not Sam's first Christmas. This is Sam's second Christmas, because Sam's first Christmas, she had those pajamas that made me learn that she's not the same height as the boys, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is her second Christmas. Oh, gosh, that was funny. Sam is not as tall as my boys, so the so the footy pajamas didn't fit her quite the same. That's right. This is her second Christmas. Yeah, it kind of had a... Well, anyway. Very funny. I'm going to put... Look at these characters, because that's what I put on uh, the thing I sent out. Look at these characters. Well, you won't do math on TV, but you'll flat... Right. Spell some words, because if I try to spell character, there's no way I'd spell it right. It was probably wrong, watching. but I just don't stress about it. All right, I'm going to do one more picture like this, and the one I want to do is one I want to show y'all. We're also getting a little walk down memory lane, and I just saw one that I want to show y'all. So, little inking, and I'm just using the dirty. I'm not even re-inking it. I'm just using it dirty, and then this is going to get glued down and go in here like so. All right, stick this down. Da, da, da. All right, here's the picture I want to use. I just saw it. Where did I put it? Back over here? Yes, okay. No, I don't want to use this one. Hold on. I got to get the right one. It's like that, but it's not that one. I love these little pictures. Look at this one. That is a crepe myrtle head. You know, Vince said we need to trim our crepe myrtles. We really do. This was a crepe myrtle that really was up in the sky, but it had so much snow on it, it dropped so far down, and it was as big as Joe's head, so we had to take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. That was funny. And this is the boys on the four-wheeler um, during the snow. That was funny. And put that one there. Put That's this one here. One put this one here. And put this one here. Where's that picture I want? Hold on. I'll find it. I know I printed it. Here it is. Here it is. This one. Okay. This was from May May Made It Family Christmas Party. This is the staff family. That's how we do it. Oh, I can't focus it good because my autofocus is off. But this is the staff at our Christmas party last year. Tam, you're right there. There's Tamitha. Let me get the little pokey tool and I'll point everybody out to you. 
There's Lacey, Amber, Joseph, me, Tamitha, Josh, Papa. This, you may not, they may not know her. I don't know. I can't say who you're pointing at, so. I don't know if we ever even, hmm. Did we ever talk? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Who's that? Hold on, I gotta get the picture up close. Um, I can't make out who that one is. I cannot make, who is this? Is that Mandy? I think so. There's a tree on your head. I think that's Mandy right there. I can't tell for sure, but I think that's Mandy. This is a tiny picture. That's Brenda, I can tell. That's Alan, that's Amanda, that's Nana. There's Vince. This is Corbin, we call him Benny. He's adorable, by the way. And I think I got, did I get everybody? I can't remember. Anyway, those are tiny, but this is our family Christmas party from last year. And so I'm gonna put that one, or not our family, our staff family Christmas party from last year. I cannot tell, I think that's Mandy. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Gosh, that's awful. It is. Wait, is there somebody underneath her too? Is somebody peeking down there? Okay, I'm gonna have to blow this picture up and see who these people are. <laughs> is that Lacey's little sister? Lord, I'm just drawing a blank. I can't remember her name. Look, is that a person right there? I'm freaking out. Is that a person down there? Is it Cam? Oh, was Cameron there? I don't remember. I'm just asking. Y'all, this is one of those pictures we could put up and there's extra arms and stuff, I think. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's weird. I'm freaking out about that. Okay, we're gonna write that on here. Staff family Christmas. I'm gonna have to go blow this picture up and look at it up close. Cause that's freaking me out a little bit. 2017. Okay, look, this is weird. So this is Cassidy and Benny right there. Okay. <laughs> is that somebody there? I don't know. Okay, I freaked out. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. It looks like an arm. I wish I could zoom it in for y'all because it's really weird, but I can't zoom it because I took my... Uh, sorry, I'm spending a lot of time on that. Anyway, I think... All right, so... <laughs> Tamitha, Cassidy, Benny. It almost looks somebody, like somebody peeking right there. Lord, why couldn't I remember Cassidy's name? I just completely just folded up. Who is there? Oh, I'm freaking out. Cameron was not there. Was Cameron there? Y'all, I'm arm. sorry. That's freaking me out. It could just be somebody's arm laying there. I don't know. That's freaking me out. Okay, let's go back to this middle of this album. This, in the middle, is something Brenda does all the time, too. See these little, like, three pieces? What she does is she takes three little cards, pokes a hole, ties them together, and then leaves enough room to put them back in there, right? And these become photo spots. So look, it's perfect for something like this. So let's move this over here. I totally got off track because that really, I'm trying to figure out what that was. I don't think Cameron was at the Christmas party. I'm going to show that to the girls and see if they're freaking out like I am. You think they will? Is it just me? Uh, I don't know. Did we have a ghost visitor at our Christmas party? They should have been there because listen, it was so much fun. You know that, right? It was a ball. All right, so I'm going to put... Jared and Sam down, and then on this little piece I put here, I'm going to write 2018 on there with my white pen. No, that wasn't Christmas 2018. That was 2017. Yeah, 2017. Thank you for correcting 2018. me. 2018. Christmas ain't here yet. That's right. 2017. I'm telling you, I'm creeped out. It couldn't have been Cameron, because Cam I don't think Cameron came with her. That is the weirdest thing. Anyway. Okay, so... That's how we do it. And see how adding that white trim really makes that pop? Really cute. Because you guys had asked me about these pieces in the middle. Like, what do we do with them? That's what you do with them. Then you just bring your little book back over. And you just slide these guys in. Like so. Put it in there. Lock it back together. So now all of these tags have pictures and they all say something. I'm going to look at it again. <laughs> Tamitha said Cameron was not there. So then what the heck? Let me see it. Let me see if I can decipher. Oh, wait a minute. Was Mandy wearing a scarf, like a a wrap? Okay, look at it up close. Do you see it's blue underneath her? I'm not alone trying to figure that out, am I? Weird, 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 weird. Okay. See, Tamitha knew that Cam wasn't there. 
Tell him what the hell Benny the whole time. By the way, tell him what the how cute is that call Corbin Benny? How cute is that? I love it. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any pictures that I want to put here yet because these aren't the right size. What I'll do is I'll match some of these guys. I think that's just her shirt and with a little jacket on. You've been looking that whole time trying to figure it out, haven't yeah, you? I'm I, not alone. Because the sleeve matches the part that's at the bottom. So I think that's she has on one of those short jackets. Okay. So maybe it's just maybe. It looks <laughs> That's what we're going to say. Now, if she comes back and says she didn't have on a short jacket, then we can start freaking out again. Oh, my goodness. That's so wild. Okay, I'm going to hold that out and talk to the girls about it. Okay, so I would mat these guys, and on these little waterfalls, I would do this. And anywhere I wanted to journal, i just cut a piece of white out of something and journal it. These are so cute. But that's how we do it. Like, I mean, it's literally that all over the place. Now, I did not save any stickers from this one. I normally would. I would have all the stickers that I didn't use. Um, this may have not come with stickers. No, it came with stickers. I used them right here. See that? I would normally save those stickers, and then when I get to this part, I'd have them. And if I wanted to put a sticker, maybe I wanted to put a sticker here. I already had one there. But maybe I wanted to put a sticker here. I could. So that's what I normally do. So even if you make an album ahead of time, just save your extra stickers in a little Ziploc bag, stick it in here like this, and you're done. Pretty cool. Meme's freaked out. Y'all need to know that. Pull the picture on your phone and blow it up. Okay. We all have to know, don't we? <laughs> uh, let me just see. So, ask questions while I'm doing this, or comment. Tell me what's being said. Meme, you're a lunatic. Well, you know. Tamma said, yes, Mandy had on a shrug. A shrug. Is that what it is? <sighs> Ghost Hunter Show. Okay, hold on. Did you Same only picture. use one pack of paper for this album? Yeah, one paper pack. That's the beauty of it. And it was, uh, was the night before Christmas, one or two, one or the other. Oh. <laughs> She's wearing a shrug. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How funny is that? When this is teeny tiny, Nana's arm looks like it's... Look, she's wearing black. Yep. So Nana's arm looks like Mandy's arm when it's tiny. And you're like, whose arm is this? It's Mandy's arm. <laughs> oh my gosh. But now, and now that I've looked at it like that, it makes perfect sense. Oh, that's hilarious. They're going to crack up at me. That is so funny. Well, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel much better. Yes, this is one pack of paper. Um, the only thing we added was ribbon. We added some bling. I added this little metal, um, this is a metal tag that I had in my stash. And better yet, this is cardboard. Just cardboard. She just cuts cardboard boxes or cereal boxes or whatever. Now, I have some really good news for my chipboard fans. Because some of us are purists with chipboard. I'm becoming quite the purist with products. I'm discovering this about myself. Did you know this? Yeah, I've been a part of it a little bit. Because... I don't know why, but like, I was always raised when you have the right tool for the job, the job is easy, and I'm becoming quite the purist like that. I'm also a collector. I love to collect those things. And like, um, I have been looking and looking and looking for chipboard for you guys, because like I said, I kind of have a free supplier of chipboard for me, but it's not enough to give to you guys, because it's very little that we use it for everything, actually. But I was on our distributor site, and I have found chipboard in white, in black, in craft, in six by six and 12 by 12. So next week we'll have that in store for you guys. You can get it in big packs, little packs. We've got a lot of options for you on the chipboard. So we're working on, I mean, unless we get it in quicker, we might get it in quicker. I think Jamie was gonna come try to put some in a little faster than that. We might can do it, but we have found the chipboard finally. Now I'm gonna tell you, shipping is gonna be expensive on chipboard because it weighs a ton. And there is nothing I can do about that. It's expensive. So um, just be ready for that one. And after you said that, I have cut tons of cardboard. Yeah, but use your cardboard if you've got it. It doesn't matter. I like a chipboard album. I put the other one up from yesterday. I want to tell you, too, with my other album I've been working on, I took all of the pieces that I was using and put them in a box together. So when I come back to put my pictures in, I have all of that together to do it with. So Very cool. Yeah, I'm excited about the chipboard, too. All right, we have about seven minutes. I want to spend an hour, so let's ask any of your mini album stuffing questions because this has been one you guys have asked me to do and asked me to do. And instead of starting something that'll take me longer than seven minutes, let's just see. Double cereal boxes. I use double cereal boxes all the time. My favorite thing to double is, um, what's it called? Coke. 
what are they, 12 Coat packs? Boxes. The 12 packs or the 24 packs that have a lot of space. If you need a big album or a full 12 by 12, you can usually get it out of those big 24 packs. Uh, youth camp is not till Monday, and we're still iffy on it. We talked about this in our Bible study, and if you guys are uh, don't mind saying a prayer for Vince's dad, he's having some little uh, mini strokes. The doctor doesn't seem extremely concerned right now, but we are. <laughs> so, yeah, I am. So uh, we're still we're still not sure if if we're gonna make the trip. We we might. The project pockets that we have in the store work great for this. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love those pockets. I have some in here. We run out of them so fast though, because you guys we buy them by the, the craft keepers. Yeah. Lord, yes, I buy so many. We buy those things. by the ton, and they go go go. So, do you guys have a suggestion where to find wood for new Cricut knife? I would look at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby because I know they carry like basswood and balsa wood. Um, but does is Cricket selling it yet? They probably will start selling it. I don't know that. I'm not a Cricket expert. Nobody say I said something I shouldn't because I don't know. Right. I'm just saying they probably Ron will. Ron needs this answered. She's asked it a few times and I just hadn't squeezed it in yet. How do I make and send jot spots to my mom? You know what I would do? I would cut out shapes if I had punches or a cricket machine, or a silhouette machine, or a scanning cut machine. I would just cut out a bunch of shapes, and I would do it. Like, if I did this kind of album, white or cream would work. But if you did the one I did the other day that's all the bright colors, I'd use, like, a yellow or an orange, whatever kind of matches the album. And I would just send her a whole bunch of shapes that would fit. Do you have time to decorate the waterfall thing from yesterday? Oh, I forgot. We'll I put that. it up. So that's going to be a no. <sighs> I put it up. I did not think about it, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'll, my plan is to put summer pictures in that, so we can come back another time. What we might do with that one, if I can get it all worked out, is um, do like a night time where I'm just put pictures in that one or something. Just sit and chat, and not have to have you won't have to be there. Just be a okay. I won't make you do that. Bless your heart. I put it all. I just said that too. Why did I do that? Oh, I know why I did it. Cause I needed space. I'm I'm not hot. I'm just pulling my hair. I needed space for this is why I did it. Okay. If you have a mermaid, we did. <laughs> I'm not going to say we do. We did, do we? I don't remember. Tam, can you check? Whether we have it in stock or not. Thank you, Mary Jane, for praying for Vince. Vince's dad's name's Eddie. If y'all want to be specific when you speak to the Lord about it, we'd appreciate it. Yep. The Cricut chipboard can be cut with the new knife blade, but I'm pretty sure mine can too. I'm going to test it. But, I mean, chipboard is chipboard, and the knife blade cuts multiple passes. So, as long as you don't go thicker than what it can handle. Um, matter of fact, y'all, if you want to see a good video of that, Tanner Bell has a great video on his channel. He's putting out some really good con uh, content. He's one of the teachers that are going to be at uh, Made It Con, and he is really doing some great cricket stuff. All right, so... Can I use that app on my, app iPhone? on my iPhone? Yep. yep. That's where we got it. And then King wants to know if you only had $25 to spend on card making materials, what would you spend it on? I would keep my eyes open for a video coming from MMA Made It. You guys have asked me and I'm working on it. Oh. There, there's, I can't run through a list right now because I'm going to tell you something. It's going to have to be outside the box and you're going to have to be willing to think outside the box to get it done in $25. And you're not going to be able to use all the kind of fancy stuff for $25. But right. you can add to it. Just watch for a video. It's coming. Um. Uh, what was the one with the cricket, though? I mean, with the mermaid, Tamitha. What was that paper pack? What was the paper pack? Um, I did a flip through in the beginning of this video, so when we stop streaming, go back, and you'll be able to see this one all the way through. So, that way we won't make people rewatch it. Imagine. The Imagine had the mermaid and the merman. <laughs> it did. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Uh, we do have a mermaid stamp set. We sure do. Uh, you guys are so good. Y'all keep up better than we do. You could make your own pattern paper with the stamp sets, what Miss Superclutz is saying. Use the mermaid and run it around. $25. Car stock, trimmers, stickers, envelopes, markers from back to school sale. And maybe. I'm going to be a little more... I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do in my video. I'm gonna show you what I would invest in. I've been doing this a long time and I know the stuff I have gotten rid of and I'm not gonna do that to you. That's gonna be the difference. What I've decided is, I, where's G at? Where's my, where's my old school, my friends that know me? I used to go buy all the clearance stuff. 
I used to go do all of that. And then I cannot tell you how much stuff I have de-stashed that I bought for a dollar and never used, but had intention of using it or thought, oh, I'm going to use this forever. But I didn't because I became a card maker and there's a way I like my cards to feel and be presented. And I'm not, this is not being a snob. If you ask any card maker who's been a card maker for a long time or something like that, and they'll tell you after a while, you have a way you want your cards to be presented and feel and look. And so I, I didn't use a lot of that stuff I had hoarded. You guys have to know, Vince, was I tell them? Oh yeah, most definitely. It was bad. It was bad. I had everything. If it was a dollar, if it was 50 cent, if it was a quarter, if it was on a clearance wall, the first place I went in every craft store was a clearance wall. Clearance wall. Every time. And I would clear I would clear those clearance walls out. And then I just ended up with a bunch of stuff that just sat in my shelves. I had to buy cabinets for stuff. I'm like, why did I do that? So instead, what I did, here's G, gets to a stage where you know what you need and know what you don't need. That's right. And that's the video I want to show you. If you're brand new to card making, I want to go, don't waste your time. Um, goes for scrapbooking too, Miss Superclut says. I want to show you what not to waste your time on, and I want to show you what where you should spend your money. And I'm gonna do my best to do it in twenty five dollar increments. I've been I've been doing some math up and stuff like that. I think we can. But if you've been around for a while, you know if you've seen craft room tours of mine, Lord help! I had so much stuff. I had so much stuff. Like oh, I might could use this somewhere, or I might want to use this. And I mm -hmm. I don't want you to get that way. Look. Good answer, G. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean you'll use it. So, CC says, unless you're hand delivering your cards, they need to be lightweight. Just her honest opinion. CC, that's awesome. I don't like a lightweight card. See, that's where we differ. I like a heavy card. You've heard this from me before, and I've told y'all before. Don't use as much as I do if you like a lighter weight card. I like a heavier card and I'm willing to pay a little more for it because I like the feel of it when the person receives it. But it's different for everybody. That doesn't mean, that doesn't change anything for anybody. Like if you like to do the lighter weight, do it. Terrence says the longer you craft, the, the pickier, pickier you, you get. get. And Terrence, can I ask you a question? Would you say, I have to say this about myself. I would say I spend less money now on craft supplies than I did before. I may spend more money on a supply but I'll use every bit of it versus, oh, I paid 99 cents for that. I can get another one and another one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got to make that a clear point. Yeah, I know you, you've grown past that, and I'm grateful. No, what I'm saying is, if I spend fourteen ninety nine on a paper pack, I'm going to use it. Oh, heaven, Jim. Yes. But if I paid a dollar or $3 or $4 for it, I'll, I'll, I'll it hoard it, it and be like, well, if I don't use it, I'm not really out any money. But you really are out the same yeah, money. Just wasting it. I was bad about that. Do you normally mat with an eighth inch all the way around? I do like an eighth of an inch um, all the way around, but sometimes I'll do a sixteenth because I also like the way a sixteenth looks. So that's the difference, Miss Superclut. Miss Jones says that. I believe that. I, it took me years to learn it. I've been crafting my whole dang life. Y'all, when I was sewing, holy cow, remnant, the remnant bin. I bought so much of it, and I wouldn't use it. And then when it was time for me to make a project, I'd have to go back to the store and buy the stuff for that project because I had a bunch of stuff, but it didn't match anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, Rebecca says it depends on what my store is talking. There's one thing about my store I want to tell y'all. I'm going to bring you quality products, and if you invest in it, you can know I believe in it. I will not. There's nobody knocking. Here's what y'all got to know. There's nobody knocking on our door trying to sell us product. It's me and Vince. I research. I go to the wet, to the distributors. I say, this is what I want to carry. And he's told y'all before, if I bring a product in and it's crap, we just did this this morning. We just talked about it. We're not selling it. So it's like, I'm not going to offer you crappy product. I promise I'm not because I won't use it if it's crappy. And Tamitha sends me links to stuff a good bit of the time. Yes. Uh, with things that she sees and out there you that guys, are pretty, and I try to find it. And you guys, uh, Nyoka is a good, she's a good, like, what we call, like, watchdog. Like, she sends me, like, for the T-square ruler and other things. Nyoka sends me stuff all the time. So, if there's something you want, tell us. Um, I'm going to tell you where to buy a Cricut trimmer. I tell you all this all the time. <laughs> buy this trimmer, you won't be sad. You will not be sad, Okay. This trimmer on my store is like $14.99. If you are a club member and you get 15% off or whatever, that's fantastic. But if not, buy this at Cricut.com. When it's on sale, 
Use my code and get an additional 10% plus free shipping. You don't have to buy it from me. You will get this quality item so cheap over there. Okay, so cheap. I like that Gareth said quality over value. And one thing you got to remember is Gareth is a Poundland decorator. You know what I'm saying? Like he loves Poundland, but he knows when to stop. We used to not. You should hear our conversation. Like I remember this conversation vividly when, when he and I both had, their, had this wake up call. Well, one thing about Gareth is he doesn't have a whole lot of space. So we were talking about it and he's like, I got to stop hoarding this stuff just because it's on sale. You know, we were both that way. Here's a question. What's your favorite scissors? It, this is the sad thing. It depends on what I'm doing. But for fussy cutting, it's the cutter bees. And then for anything else, these are the only other scissors I have in here. And I've collected these over time. You can't buy them all at one time, or you might could. If you have that kind of budget, here's three that are perfect. But for fussy cutting, I use these. Now, my most expensive pair of scissors is my brother's scanning cut. <laughs> Vince always gives me a look when I say that. Yep. All right, all right. How far in from the side do you make your holes for the rings? It depends on your album, but like on this one, we did it about half an inch in. And the reason I say it depends on your album, if you're using um, cardboard and it's kind of flimsy, you'll want to move in further because you want to give it a little more room. If you're using chipboard and it's more firm, you can go right, you know, half inch is fine or even a quarter of an inch. I wouldn't go lower than half inch though. And the other thing you might want to think about is maybe some of those ring, um, the eyelets that you can sink in there and like have a metal go around them. Uh, good use for all things, little things you buy, never use. So unless I want to um, sleep with my... <laughs> Gary said, so unless he wants to sleep with his paper pads, he has to stay within his limits. Uh, Tamitha says, no one's allowed to use her good scissors. Crystal, it's cheaper on Cricut with her code. Yeah, it's cheaper than my store. Because they can sell them cheaper. They get to mark them down much cheaper than we do. Cricut trimmer is the best. I have two going in the trash. I think she means she has two other ones. The cutter bees will be back as soon as we can get them back. Um, you don't know how to use what very well. Your trimmer... I have a video on the Cricut trimmer. Now I know what they're for. Oh, that's so cute. Christmas and birthday. Reinforcement. Thank you. That's the word. What's wrong with my brain? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys. We're going to run. I've already given you a little extra time I wasn't expecting to do today. So we love spending time with you. It's hard for us to say bye. And uh, what kind of paper for the pages? This is cardboard. This is just actually shipping boxes we cut down. Um, for the pages and then on my other one I used actual chipboard I use both here's my answer use what you've got but don't hoard anything <laughs> is that fair use what you got but don't hoard it I don't know yes we got two pallets of stuff in the, they showed up yesterday about 4 15 and there are four staff members working today to try to get that into the store and get it done I am tired Replacement blades. We carry replacement blades. So if you're a, a club member and get 15% off, use that. If not, Cricut has a replacement blades. And your code is just May May Made It, right? May May Made It. All one word. I don't think it has to be capital letters, but you can type capital letters. Um, May May Made It. 10% plus free shipping. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All right. We love you guys. I'm going to try to turn this thing off, see if I know what I'm doing. Vince is usually better at it than me. Stop. We love you. We will see you again soon. Not yeah. exactly sure how when. All right, have a great Saturday. Bye.